NFL's leading rusher joins us live on Up to the Minute. Matt Breida, how does that sound, NFL's leading rusher? Uh, it sounds crazy. It kind of still, you know, unreal to me. I mean, are people stopping you on the street yet, or do you need protection to go from, from the building <laughs> back to your car after uh, work? Yeah, I noticed, you know, eyes staring at me, uh, you know, when I go to the mall or something, you know, people are just looking at me and, like, I got three heads, but, uh, you know, it's cool. It's part of the process, and I'm enjoying it. Dude, I'm looking at your Twitter here. 11,000 followers. Like, you're the NFL's yeah, leading rusher. Like, how, how do we make Matt Breida big other than, you know, running for 184 yards through two weeks? I guess, I mean, I guess I just have to win a rushing title this year. I mean, uh. I'm not a big social media guy, so, uh, you know, whoever follows me, follows me, and whoever doesn't, doesn't. Matt, did you think you would be in this position? I know you've never doubted your ability, right? But to go from mm -hmm. Georgia Southern, you had a great junior year, and then you kind of fell off the radar. The team didn't do too well, obviously. And, and then undrafted. The phone rang a bunch. You chose the 49ers, didn't get the ball a lot last year, and now mm -hmm. you're here. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, I always feel like I had it in me, you know, I wanted to be a star in the NFL. And I feel like, you know, I just got to prove a lot of people wrong and that, you know, I belong uh, in the NFL. I can play in the NFL. Um, I always had a chip on my shoulder, you know, coming out of college. Uh, my last year wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But, you know, I feel like God, uh, you know, has a plan. Everything happens for a reason. So, uh, you know, whatever the 49ers want me to do, I'm going to do, play my role and do my job. You ran a 4-3-8 at your pro day. I know pro day 40 times can sometimes be exaggerated. But 4-3-8, and you still didn't get drafted. I would have to assume that infuriated you. Uh, yeah, you know, definitely did. Uh, you know, when you're growing up as a young kid, you know, you always want to get drafted and um, hear your name called on that day. And uh, for me, you know, I didn't hear my name called, so it just gave me, you know, even that more push and that more grind to do better and, uh, you know, just make it in the NFL. want to put a picture up. Uh, you and your now teammate, Jarek McKinnon. Right. This is when he was with the Vikings. Yeah. You guys, obviously, your paths crossed when you're at Georgia Southern. Jarek is out for the year. He made it through the preseason and then, bam, getting ready for week one. He tears his knee in practice. Is it bittersweet for you, Matt, that you're out there doing this and leading the league in rushing and Jarek is watching and rehabbing? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, when it happened, uh, you know, it was probably one of the worst days I had this year. You know, Jarek's worked so hard to get to this point. And, uh, you know, to get where he's at in his career and, uh, you know, to see it all ending on one day and on one play um, that was non-contact, you know, it's pretty freaking, it's pretty uh, crazy. But one thing about Jarek, you know, he's going to bounce back uh, ever since then. You know, he's been positive, upbeat. Uh, he's never let this, you know, keep him down. And I know next year when he comes back, you know, he's going to have a great year. So uh, I just can't wait to be out there on the field with him next year. Matt, for somebody like the majority of the audience that has never played in Kyle Shanahan's offense, that mm -hmm. is so good for running backs and has made so many running backs so much money over the years. Explain why it works. Uh, it works because of Kyle Shanahan. Uh, he's probably one of the smartest coaches I've been around in my entire life. Uh, just the way he puts schemes together and just the way he's able to read defenses, it's, uh, it's pretty freaky. So uh, as long as you're coachable and as long as you're willing to you know, uh, be coached and learn the scheme, you'll do well in this offense. And it's funny because when his dad had the offense back in Denver years ago, there was this thought, oh, we could just throw anyone to this offense. It doesn't matter if they're undrafted, a sixth-round pick, back then a 12th-round pick. It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. We could just plug and play. What would you say to those people? Uh, I would say to those people, you know, it's very true. Um, like I said, you've got to have the right guy with the right attitude and the right mindset. Um, you know, we're going to run the ball on this offense. We're going to throw the ball. You've got to be uh, willing to do the dirty work. And that's block, you know, at receiver or block at running back or even sometimes block at quarterback. So as long as you got the right mindset and, uh, you know, you're willing to work, this offense will work for you. All right, you looking forward to Arrowhead? What do the Chiefs have in store for you this week? Say that again? You looking, you looking forward to Arrowhead? What do the Chiefs have in store for you this week? Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Arrowhead. Uh, I know it's going to be a tough competition. You know, I know they got a great offense. So it'll be a, a great, um, you know, uh, competition for our defense. And uh, offense as well, you know, their defense is really good. So uh, I'm just looking forward to getting after it. Patrick Mahomes has not thrown a touchdown since we started this interview, Matt, which is, uh, which is good news. Matt Breida leading the league in rushing as the 49ers head to Kansas City this week. Matt, continued success. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.